What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is a beautiful day to be having a day. I'm Jerry the Tree Whiz. This is Jetson Fleet Gaming. How you doing? What's up? How you living? We got a very important episode today. It's extremely important, you might say. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Yetlings. Two cards, the Yetlings and Antifreeze. We've got a double card spotlight today. And we're actually going to be looking at how to defend the Yetlings. Because I said in my last video, if you watch it, I hope you watch it, I said that the Yetlings seem OP. So before if we get into it, if you like content like this, hit that little sub-sub-sub button. And then subs to sub-sub, y'all. Thank you so much. This is Jets and Fleet Gaming. I'm Jerry the Tree Wiz. Let's get right into it. Here we go. You can see it right here. The Yetlings. These guys have no chill. Oh yeah, these baby Yetlings will head towards the nearest target and detonate in an icy explosion. Freezing enemies in radius. Immune to freezing and chilling effects. Like most other ice cards in this game, they all seem to be immune to ice as well. Detonating any icy fragments doesn't kill Yetlings permanently. Their parents can later pick up the pieces and rebuild them. So that's their story. They're a normal card and a free-for-all card. But I'm going to give you some more important tips. They act more like a spell than they do a card. Here's why. Here's some of the big takeaways from what Yetlings can do. Here's one, for example. Let's say you have a chop headed your way. No problem. Put the Yetlings down where you think he is. You can see his feet. They'll freeze him and reveal him, and you can just kill him. Let's say you have a Dr. Death headed straight towards your commander. That's fine. Just pop the Yetlings down right in front of your commander. They'll freeze Dr. Death as well, so they can reveal an invisible unit. They can freeze Dr. Death. They're also even able to stop an entire pack of piranhas. And not just stop the entire pack of piranhas. They're able to stop it with just one Yetling. So two Yetlings continue on to go do damage. They are seriously so useful. I don't know if it's that the Yetlings are overpowered or it's their usage that is what's so overpowered because you can freeze the tower, Dr. Doom, Death, and you can go freeze the commander with just a two doe play. It is so valuable, which makes the next card we're gonna take a quick peek at before we dive in depth, so valuable as well. Antifreeze. Here's what makes antifreeze super valuable. It stops you from being frozen. What does that also stop? It stops double damage. In this game, when you're frozen, you take double damage, even the towers. Now you probably know that because you probably watched my last is this game being broken by this deck video and you know that freezing a tower and then putting a commander or a bunch of piranhas on it is just one of the best ways to play this game right now. So today we're gonna take a look at our deck that we're gonna be using to show you guys something awesome. We only need one more, kill 50 commanders. Oh, we just did it, well dang. Surprise, surprise. Here's how we did it. We used this deck and we have just been Merkin commanders. So in the middle of me showing you some Yeti tips and anti-freeze tips, we're also going to show you some major Van Gun tips. He's going to be in our next video. It's going to be good stuff. You can win or defend against Van Gun. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, click that little sub bubble down below. Call your mom. Tell her to comment below tell me i'm a i'm a schmug tell me i need to get a better job and a better life actually don't do any of those things besides calling your mom and tell her you love her i don't know what i'm saying today guys i'm just pumped this is great here we go we got a, a clown coming to our tower a clown coming to town we're just gonna go ahead and hit him with a chop chop and whammy let's just use our rage because it's cool all right we're going to go ahead and play the Van Gun so that I can hit her with these missiles. Please hit the witch. Oh, and we got lucky. Look at that, y'all. Look at that, y'all. We already got our Van Gun. About to shoot. Let's go ahead and get some tap, some protection from spells. That's great. His piranha tank is useless over there. He probably watched the video yesterday saying, is this game broken? Well, here's another tip for you. If you're having trouble with piranhas and with yetlings... Use the, use the Yeti. Confetti the Yeti. We also broke that down in our other video. Confetti the Yeti. But we didn't go over how good he is at stopping this current deck. Looks like this is just going to be an easy win. This guy's scared of me. But that's how you kill 50 commanders. Let's kill one more commander and see if we can actually get to use our Yetis. He gave up. I would too. 
How are you guys feeling today? Drop it in the comments. Is the COVID thing getting over it for you? Are you finally used to wearing face masks? Do you hate wearing face masks? Actually, I don't want to hear about any of that in the comments. Let's keep it World War Doe related, y'all. I'm just making mid-small talk because I love you guys, and I don't know if you want me to edit this kind of stuff out or not. Put that down in the comments. We can edit it out. We can edit out my banter, my little jokes. I don't know if I like them either. This is your channel, whoever you are. I'm yours. Jerry the Tree Whiz belongs to you. Sir Slappy from the USA Elites, we missed our victory harp. We'll give you the rest after we clock this guy's chocks. Okay. Don't mind. Okay, so I'm just going to cycle and Yeti bomb because we can freeze all of them and then we can kill them because those guys are a big pain if you don't have splash damage. Taken care of. That's what I'm talking about. You need me. I'm stressing out about this kill bot. Let's go ahead and take her with magic missiles and see if we can get some Yetlings in this board for any reason. That was a genius play that he just did. He used his witch to kill... That is actually one of the best moves you can do with the witch to get rid of Van Gun. Okay. We'll be going over that tomorrow in our Van Gun video. Looks like this guy's gonna come attack the spell Grounding Rod, which actually has a decent amount of health. So not always the best idea to attack the spell Grounding Rod like he just did. So I should have popped those Yetlings on him so he could have gotten double damage. We don't really have a tower strategy here. We're just going for commanders. So I'm going to go ahead and pop these guys down. We're going to force him to run. You need me. And he is going to be trying to do the same thing he did before, putting his witch in front of my van gun. I have my antifreeze ready. Oh, did he just leave as well because he's afraid of the fire? All right, we're going to try again because we're just on a roll. I guess we could get some victory heart. Approximately 10 hours later. Alright, we're summoning a good opponent to show you guys how we do, how we do, how we do, how we do. I dance because I can. I dance because I can. Ladies and gentlemen, while we're doing this, I'm going to give you some more Yeti tips. They'll take out piranhas. They'll stop Dr. Death. They will freeze a tower. They can freeze up to three things. They work a little bit more like a spell. They can reveal a chop. Even if they take chop and give him uh, bloodthirst, where he's going to go for your commander and do additional damage, you can just reveal him with the Yetlings. They are just a great play. They're more than a cycle card. They're a power... Oh, that was that was not smart of what he, what he just did there. We're going to put the spell grounding rod down so that he's not able to zap us in the face. This is how you use Van Gun, guy from the comments, who said, how do you use Van Gun or how do you stop Van Gun? Well, I guess I should show you how to stop him too. I'm not afraid of those Yetlings because they're just going to freeze my tower. If he's not going to go back it up, well, that's fine. I'm going to freeze him so he takes double damage from this Chop Chop. Get him, Chop Chop. Whammy. Ooh, nice heal, but look at all that damage he's already taken back. The Yetlings fit in any deck with any strategy. Whatever you're going to try to damage, just freeze first. Spell Grounding Rod. Here we go. Beautified. And that's game. This is game right here. Missiles on the head. Thank you for coming. Thank you for playing. You see, the Yetlings, the use of them is freezing for the double damage, not just slowing them down or stopping the clock on the clown car. How about that? The Yetlings completely stop the clock on the clown car. They stop the clock on everything. Maybe they just shouldn't stop the clock as well because that's pretty rough when your clown car just gets just jammed up completely. So let's move on. Now one more round, I think. This has been a good deck. This will definitely be our Van Gun Spotlight deck. Usually we lose when we play live, but not now. Not with this, because it's a concise strategy. And we're using the Yetlings. Even though they're only level 6 right now, most of our other cards are level 9, stuff like that, depending on the card rarity. But I do love the Yetlings. I think they're a great card. They are just mechanically something is beast about them. You really can't have a deck where they don't make sense to be in the deck. They are just useful. Fo we got a level 10. If we kill this guy, it'll be impresario. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Not afraid of those bees by themselves on the tower. It's nothing to worry about. Try to get my stuff. That was a bad drop by him. 
This is great. Go hit him in the face. Boom. Look at that. Big damage. Big damage, baby. Big money. Big damage. Big money. We're going to pop down our Yetlings because they'll just go freeze him. Freeze Zario. We're going to put the Van Gun in the center here. And we're going to get our Spell Grounding Rod. We haven't even had to use our barrier yet. But we will if we think we do. See, that would have been a great time to go get double tower damage, but we don't need double tower damage. Oh, why did it go for Cybuck there? That was goofy. So, I'm not going to give too many Van Gun tips because that's literally going to be our spotlight tomorrow. What is this strange glitch that's happening right now? This is ridiculous. You see how the bullets just were going to hit me? That doesn't make any sense at all. And now it went to hit the igloo, even though he's out of the igloo. What's going on? Pyro, we got crazy things. You see this? <laughs> oh, bees. I don't really know how to call who's winning this one right now. Uh, yeah, I really don't. I feel good about it, though. But I don't think I'm going to be able to kill his commander. And with the whole new no-draw system... I don't think we're going to be able to win. So let's put down this Chuppa Chuppy. So he's going to go sneak up and get him. Yeah, let's get rid of his igloo. I don't like that igloo, buddy. That's why we're sending in Chop Chop. Break down the igloo. Break down the walls of the enemies. And... Oh, he got my Chop Chop. Let's put down our Yetlings to protect us. Oh, and we got him. Perfect. You saw that? Yetling stopping a Cybok. What is going on here? Why is he attacking the igloo? That doesn't seem to make sense here. Maybe that's something we're going to have to realize for our tech video because something is strange with that. Van Gun should target him whether he's in or out of the stinking igloo. I wonder if igloos do stink. You are kind of cooped up in there. Spell Grounding Rod. Let's get it. Don't like the Cybuck. Let's use our Yetling trick. Oh, he got us that time. Cybuck's kind of a cool card that I don't know too much about. I've got him leveled up pretty good, but five elixir, five dough, seems like a high cost. Man, this igloo is what stopped us this time. Not this guy's level, nothing. I'm not afraid of him. He's not nothing scary. But the igloo is getting targeted by my van gun. I don't know if that's supposed to happen. I don't think it is. Hasn't happened in other rounds. Are we going to win this? We might just have to go magic missile crazy Dan. Magic Missile Crazy Dan. I'm playing my buck. He stole my buck. I don't care. I don't give a buck. I don't give a buck. I don't take a buck. Boom. Go, Van Gun. Hit him. Oh, he teleports in on me. Heal me up. Can we take the win? Chop him. Chop him. Let's go. Missile, boys. Missiles, boys. Okay. This is just wackadoo. We're going to use our antifreeze because it heals you. That's a card spotlight. Antifreeze. Use it to heal. Use it to cycle. Use it to stop the spell grounding rod. Here we go. All right. Come on, baby. He just got to break that down for me. He just got to break that down. Hit him. Ooh, baby. This is just ridiculous. You just keep taking my bucks, huh? Go on, Chop Chop. Get him, get him, get him, get him. We got this. This is so intense. This is such a good match to end it on. Van Gun, give it to me, baby. Uh-huh, uh-huh. How did you teleport to your other igloo? That doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? Let's just bomb this guy. Come on, bomb him. We got this. This is so intense and great. Freeze. Yetlings, this is how we're going to do this. He's going to see the power of the Yetlings here. He stopped the Yetlings with the igloo. That's a good tip there. We gotta get back, we gotta get back. We need our bubble. Good job, Buck. This is epic. Go, missiles, go. Ooh, he teleported out of the way. This is epic. Wow, I've never gone into overtime and not won or lost and just had a full draw since this happened. Great game against someone higher leveled. I think we would have had that win if there wasn't for all those strange igloo glitches. Van Gun should not have targeted the igloo even after he exited the igloo. And it looked like... He teleported between igloos, but I'm pretty sure my eyes were just phasing out on me, and he just used a teleport to get to his other igloo. That was a cool match. Probably one of the coolest matches I've ever played. I'm going to end it there. I hope you can remember the quick, easy Yetling
and tips, all the things they're able to take out, how they act kind of like a spell, how they're able to reveal invisible items. Antifreeze can stop that from happening. The big thing about antifreeze is that it is not going, to, it's going to stop you from taking double damage. That's the big takeaway. Use it on your tower, stop the double damage. It's what you need to know. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what you need to know. Please download World War Doe using our link in the subscription below. Please leave a like on all the other World War Doe videos. Go check out the other content creators. We need all the support we can get to have a strong community. Hit that sub button if you haven't already. I'm Jerry the Tree Wiz. Thanks for tuning in to Jets and Fleet Gaming. I love each and every one of you. And until the next time we meet, ha.